Hello, welcome to Moo Moo Math. In this video, I'd like to work on some proportion word problems. And proportions are nice because you can take what is known and find what is unknown. Now, as I work these first couple examples, I'll go through a couple of uh, helpful hints so you set these up properly. Okay, a boat can travel 126 miles on 18 gallons of gas. How much gas will it need to go 175 miles. So let's take what is known, and that is uh, it, if it travels 126 miles, that's going to take 18 gallons. Okay. Now, one question is which should you put on top, the gallons or miles? But if you set the proportion up properly, it really will not make a difference. Okay. But what is very important, if you have miles on the top here, you must set what it's equal to the same. So if you'll notice, I have miles and miles, gallons and gallons. That's the uh, most important thing. Now let's take what other information is given. I know that if I go 175 miles, and I need to know how many gallons that will take, and I'm just going to set that as X. So I have it set up properly with uh, the numbers the same on uh, the top and bottom. And then now I, I practice a cross product. So I take 175 times 18 and uh, so I'll go 175 times 18 and then I'll go 126 times X so I'll go 126 times X is equal to let's see and 175 times 18 I've already done the math there is 3150 I now isolate the X by dividing both sides by 126 and when you do that these cancel and X is equal to 25 and that is going to be gallons and that's a little messy so it will take 25 25 gallons to go 175 miles okay let's look at another example which is very similar okay this time a car travels 442 miles on 13 gallons how far can it travel on four so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put miles on top again for 42 miles and if you'd like you can set up the same problem and put gallons on top and you'll see you'll get the same answers I'm gonna put gallons on the bottom remember the most important thing is you set up the other fraction the same and I'm gonna put miles and gallons okay now let's see what other information they've given us how far can it go on four gallons so four is given okay I then just complete a cross product and four 42 times 4 is 1,768. And then 13 times miles, excuse me, I left the x out. 13 times x is equal to 13x. Divide each side by 13. 13 and x is equal to 1768 divided by it's 136 miles. So it will travel on four gallons 136 miles okay let's go ahead and uh, work two more of these so hopefully you'll get the hang of these okay this next one is uh, a boat can travel 144 miles on 16 gallons this time I'm gonna put gallons on top okay we we know we have 16 gallons and with 16 gallons it can travel 144 miles okay and I set the other fraction up exactly the same, gallons on top. And let's do miles. And what is given, it says that it travels 171 miles. And we, we need to know how many gallons that will take. We do a cross product. 171 times 16 is equal to 2,736 is equal to... 144x. We know to isolate the x, we will divide both sides by 144. These cancel in 2736 divided by 144 is equal to, I'm going to use this box right over here, x is equal to um, 19 gallons. So it will take 19 gallons to travel uh, 100 and 71 miles okay I hope that helped in setting up proportions and solving proportion word problems if you enjoyed please share 
give us a thumbs up or subscribe to Moo Moo Math.